ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm Glenn and hi guys, doing it. Welcome back to our DUI Mithridatus campaign. And this is, I believe it's episode three that it's going to be. So without further ado, let's get into it. And let's see where we left things off last time. So last time we got some rebellions here and there once we dealt with these two places. These guys are pretty stable-ish. And uh, the Solani room did declare war on us. But we've been pretty adamant on rooting them out. Uh, so we took one settlement of the four already and we are in place to get the next one. And I think I might fight this my, fight this one myself because I want to see if I can um, get like fight this well enough that I can push through pretty quickly towards either Pergamon of Rhodes. Because um, I don't want to give him time to start building an army uh, somewhere here in the vicinity. And we settled with peace for these guys. And that is just temporary because I don't want that strategic threat. And they offered me 2k for it, which I barely spent on a very well thing, stuff. Uh, so we do have a little bit of a problem that is called uh, Parthia. Since Parthia is getting pretty out of control with the three settlements over here and then all the way over here. Uh, so these guys are still our friends. Um, I have no idea for how long. Since they don't want to have anything to do with me. And they are pretty... Pretty, pretty neutral towards Parthia. And honestly, I think I would f find it find it more comfortable, comforting that they would attack Parthia, because I'd rather have a f friend that's pretty big here than an enemy that's creeping up my way. Um, but once we settle all of this, I'm still debating if we're gonna island hop straight towards over here or if we're gonna go expand this way first uh, to get some more like empire knowledge before or more empire income before we start a very big war against these guys because there are some really big armies here including with the garrisons so I definitely need more than one army to start uh, punching this way so I probably need at least two or three armies and, an, and a navy so I might just start taking out some land over here to make sure I get that sorted um, you guys are seem pretty neutral so I far. To this but you are a bit of an issue in there because I signed treaties with you. Okay, I think that's all we could do uh, for this episode because we only have one army to move. And you just have to be... Um, wow, okay. Sir, one for. No, let's go for all of those. Um, I do want to save up a little bit of cash. So let's see what we can do next turn. Hopefully, we can have a pretty decent fight. And that is not too. wreckity wreck for my forces. <laughs> oh, that's a good saying. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, if you do enjoy this episode so far, be sure to leave a like on the video. Don't forget to give me a comment down below, either tips or tricks or questions that you have. Please put them down below. I try to respond to every comment that I get. So yeah, basically that. And by all means, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. Because we are growing at a very steady pace. And I would like for that to continue, to be honest. You bastard. Do we want to have something extra? That's only 500. I'm okay with that. See, that's it's about 40% losses. And that is probably going to be 90% of my calf and uh, my stone thrower as well. Where I think that we can 
do a lot better. Because I can throw my Ballista into there just wreaking havoc and this guy in auto resolve, like the last auto resolve battle, he had like 4 kills, f 4 or 40 kills, something like that. And the one battle I played with this, I managed to get it like at least 150, so I think I could get at least 1 to 200 kills just with the Ballista from a distance. And that is exactly what I want to try to do. Um, so I'm going to put you right up front of here. And then let's get these guys settled over here. Uh, you are helping this way. You guys see if you can go like that. You're helping here at the front. Um, yeah, we want to have you guys over here. See where the other soldiers are coming from. Do I need to get in over here? I'll keep them here in the middle. I can go that way and I can go this way. Uh, yeah, let's target the Italian swordsman straight away. That already killed 15. That already killed 30 men. See how fucking effective that thing is? Can I shoot myself? Can I please? Right in the middle there. Oh, that's way too far. Might be a better one. Might be a better one. Ooh. <laughs> that's already 70 guys dead. Let's push in that way as well. Target those guys. They want to come out, I'm fine with that. Although I probably should get you guys on this flank. And you... That's good. Target the town guard, they are in a very precarious situation. These guys are not taking casualties. Aim it back that way. Uh, Slingers get in here. here. Uh, target those guys. Uh, you see if you can target that real quick. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Target that one, Chief. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Uh, our is under attack. Get back. Go between over there. See if they want to come out, that is awesome. Step, 
Move a bit forward. You target that specific area over there. Uh, you just stop firing for a second. I told you guys to stop firing for a second. Just need to wait a second. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Uh, you can come over here as well. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh shit, my pikemen aren't even... No, they aren't. Yeah, okay. Oh wait. Uh, target the, sol the swordsman. These are all slingers. Yep. You guys are dead. Um, move over that way. You guys start targeting that. Let me get let me get one clean. Nope. Nope. Probably gonna kill my own men. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Get in there. Get in there. Get over there. That is Cap dealing with that. And you are out of ammo. How much kills did you get? 287. Look at that. That is fucking marvelous. Okay, now you tell me. Did we lose 40% of our army? I don't think so, chief. Just go straight into that one. That should do the trick. And that's it. A very decisive victory. <laughs> wow. We haven't lost 10%. Uh, like... We lost 5% instead of 40. Holy shit. 313 on the, the stone throwers. See, that's how you do it. You just throw them out. 314. Ooh, the stone throwers were almost the MVP of the game. They got. They. Cav outdid them with one kill. That's fair, that's fair. Good shots, good shots. See, this is how you fight. Should probably have done this with the other settlement battle as well. Including the one with Nicom uh, at Nicomedia with uh, Bithynia in the first episode. Because... Other resolve doesn't really favor me in this mod pack. And since everything needs to be rebuilt anyway, um, I'm gonna raise this shit. Or not. At your command. Um. That's not gonna get me anything. What is this? 10% minus 10% construction cost, all regions. 20% wealth from, wow, okay. That's good money. 
And Rhodes is fucking empty as well. Are we almost at the point that we can afford another army? Or should we go for supply lines? Uh, that's got me a lot of stuff as well. Food is getting better. Um, plus four sanitation. Do we have anything that is that's industry? Mm, no, 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 no. Naval recruitment. That's shit. Four percent research. Spear recruits. Nah. Let's go for that. Um, yeah, over here is still not much we can do. I can upgrade this. Which would give me two extra units t to defend myself with. How much? Banditry is pretty fine, okay. Oh, never mind. Banditry is fucking rampant. <laughs> Minus 71 due to what? Conquest, military presence, and provincial instability. That is 50, 60, yeah, okay. That would do the trick. Uh, Rhodes also has a building like that, right? The Colossus. So we get two World Wonders straight away. Because this one is going to be sick in a turn. So 37.42, let's see what that does for us. 20% wealth from culture. It's probably not going to be that much since our culture is not that dominant. But that's going to stack up over time. I really do want that to be stacking up. Because I need them cash flow, bitch. <sighs> this is fun. A fun DIY campaign where I'm not getting shit on <laughs> at every turn. It's like, oh man, that this is Total War campaign. That was torture. Where is the rebellion? Wall, shitty bitty. Uh, let's build an extra force over here. Court nobles, court nobles, court nobles. I want hourly patrols. Our lord needs good fighters. Cause that garrison still shit. And you can get here in one turn. And that is not something I was looking forward to. Um, let's get some extra letters. Let's get a tortoise and a ram. Laying siege to the settlement. Um, we can see what's happening in roads, so don't really need something to go over there. Could use you over this way so we can see what to deal with. Uh, if this army, if this one is settled, probably head towards Ankara and start up, start building a little bit of an extra force. You're still okay. You're stable ish. That 
that's all the money gone for this turn. Da 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 da. Like Mithridates is behaving like a fucking champion over here. Took out one, two, three, nearly four settlements in the course of a few years. We do have to check if our um, protection, how our protection is going with the uh, political stuff. Because that guy is not going to have fun. They're not going to have fun when they rebel against me. I can tell you that one, chief. I like the clouds. Ah, oh, perfect. That helps. Uh, let's get that cash. And that means we do have our two units that got recruited here. And uh, no thank you. Are they taking attrition as I am? Yeah. Oh wow, that really did the trick. Honestly, I would take that. I I really fucking hate fighting, uh, fighting sieges. Defending on them, yeah, that shit. It's shit is fun. But other than that, new. No, thank you, sir. Ooh, plus four political loyalty. And that's a good one as well, minus 3% uh, Empire Maintenance. And then we'll probably go along this way. Like, what do we need for this? We don't really need to do that. Mm. There's not too much shit in here. Okay, this one would be handy. Siege tower and additional minus five percent losses when besieging. That would be helpful. Oh damn, you are getting in trouble as well. Well, not really. Okay, you don't have too much. You do have a good stack. Might have just spoken too soon. Mm, let's give you a political animal as well. And what the hell are you? Do you think you're doing, my friend? Okay, next turn. Sorry about that, I just sold out for uh, for a second. Mm. This is always a difficult question. My wife asked, I asked my wife what she wanted for dinner and she's like, oh, never mind, make something nice. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. But now I need to figure out what she would want to eat. Um, perfect. 70%. I'm happy that the rebellions are not that big of a deal. Uh, 
Oh. I don't like what you're doing there. Twenty-five percent risk of secession. Well, shit. Um, but it's only, it's only, it's only that settlement, right? Yeah. So it's not the biggest problems. Uh, you could go into there. Then get rid of you, because you're mercenaries. And honestly, I'm really sorry, but I think I'm just gonna auto auto this one. Because that does not look fun to fight. Especially on the walls, I will I will die. So I'm really sorry about that. We're getting 12k from this. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, okay, let's get rid of that one then. Uh, let's go with that. That still makes me quite a bit of cash. That helps. Hellenic is going great, Persian is going down. And they still don't like the fact that we fucking looted their entire stash. Uh, let's get you, let's get you, and let's get you so we have everything. And we should go first for that. Minus 4% upkeep for all land units. Oh, that. Diddly doom, diddly doom. <laughs> Ooh, minus 8% upkeep for all land units. And that should be one for you. Uh, loyalty for marriage, okay. Okay, that's solid. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we do need to invest in some very decent calf. And then let's go with some pointing late infantry. So that 10 stack means we can start attacking over here. That would be great. Or it means we might survive this <laughs> secession. Sanitation, research, extra research is very handy here. So we are already up like 10%. Oh, that's Egypt. Um. Yeah, I could think I think I could just leave you be for now. In the name of the Republic, welcome. You're for the Senate's part. Could have been fun. It's not anyone that hates me too bad. Except for these guys. Do I really need to step back and kill those guys? Probably not, because they will absolutely eviscerate me. Question, do we get a secession? Yes, no. Let me know in the comments. See if you want the bet. If you're right, you have to buy a membership. If you're wrong, you also have to buy a membership. Because that's how we do wages here. <laughs> oh, that's just some stupid shit. Wabba dabba do. Let's get this show on the road. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
I'm sorry about that. I just sometimes I like doing stupid shit. To, to keep things rolling and don't have a, like an entire silent intern face. Even though could be said something for cutting it out, but and that's a lot of editing work. You don't really need anything, so... I'm gonna leave you be for either one or two turns. Household expands, outrage populace. Ah, and there is Egypt. Egypt, do you want to be my friend? Yes, you Welcome, probably In a spirit of Olympian would be. Oh, never mind. It's not that bad. Uh, Fuck it. I want to do it. It's going to cost me an arm and a leg. I probably more, but... Fuck it. I want it. I, wa I want it. Oh, nice. Let's get some carrying X-Men in there as well. And then we are fully settled for our fight against these guys in the next two turns. And then the march on Rhodes as well. See if we can get the Colossus building. Uh, the Colossus of Rhodes as well. Oh, wow. We can upgrade this? What do we need for that? Oh, wow, okay. That's gonna be a while. 21 turns, 13 turns. 21, 34, let's be about 40 turns. Uh, yeah, you like Romans, that is absolutely nothing to me. Can we... Do anything no you don't because we don't have money okay um i think ladies and gentlemen that is why we're going to leave this off for today so i'm going to say thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like leave a comment if you have any tips or tricks or questions and by all means do subscribe to the channel for more fun content and just to help me out spread the word i would really enjoy that as well so yet again guys thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time peace